continue to this Eucharistic celebration, may we remind ourselves of our intentions, asking God for His love and for us in our lives. In a special way, also, we pray for the intentions of Elenita Espirito Sacanas, Joseph Wayne, Paul Wayne, Peter Van Wayne, Theodore Hidden, and Jacob. And somebody is praying for all souls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our saints, asking God for forgiveness and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life to the last. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that you may very to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abram was very rich in livestock, silver, and gold. Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and tents, so that the land could not support them if they stayed together. Their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. There were quarrels between the herdsmen of Abram and Abram's livestock and those of Lot. At that time, the Canaanites and the Parasites were occupying the land. So Abram said to Lot, Let there be no strife between you and me, or between your herdsmen or mine, for we are kinsmen. It is not is not the whole land at our disposal. Please, separate from me. (coughs) If you prefer the left, I will go to the right. If you prefer the right, I will go to the left. Lot looked about and saw how well watered the whole Jordan plain was, as far as the source, like the Lord's own garden, or like Egypt. This was before the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot therefore shows for himself the whole Jordan plain and set out eastward. Thus they separated from each other, Abram staying in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the plain, pitching his tents near Sodom. Now the inhabitants of Sodom were very wicked in sin, they committed, and since they committed against the Lord. After Lot had left, the Lord said to Abram, Look about you, and from where you are, graze to the north and south, east and west. All the land that you see I will give to you and to your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like dust of the earth, If anyone could count the dust of the earth, your descendants too might be counted. Set forth and walk about the land through it, through its length and breadth. For for to you I will give it. Abram moved his tents and went on to settle near the terebinth of Mamre, which is at Hebron 
There he built an altar to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow men, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money of usury, and accepts no bribes against the innocent, he who does not these things shall never be disturbed. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, said the Lord. Whoever follows me will have light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your prayers before swine. Please they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to God. Please be seated. And those who find it are few. And one of those people who finds it, Abraham, in the first reading. And we saw what he said to his brother. If you want left, I go right. If you want right, I go left. No injustice. Out of law. So that he valued peace more than anything. It's not easy for people, even when you know that this is peaceful, you will also think about what will be my gain, what will be my reward. And sometimes because of your gain and reward, you decided to have war instead of peace. Because you don't want to lose that. You don't want people to see you as weakly. You don't want people to see you as somebody who cannot fight for this right. But like Jesus said in the Gospel, the road that leads to life is very narrow. You must sacrifice for something good. Nothing good comes out of nothing. You must sacrifice. If you want peace, you must sacrifice a little bit of it. If you want love, you must sacrifice a little bit of it. If you want justice, and so on and so forth. You might be right, you might be correct, you might be on the vantage position, but it is not always about your rightness. There is a value in peace, there is a value in happiness. And for sake of peace, 
Abraham called his brother and said, Take what you want. We were not told the details, but in a paper writing, they said Abraham is the senior brother, so he has the right to choose first, but he decided to allow Lord to take first, so that peace will reign. So sometimes you will be right, you will be correct, but because of peace, and in our relationship with God, sometimes you are wrong, but out of mercy, out of forgiveness, out of love. So I say to you, know what you value and pursue it. If you pursue, if you like peace, you love peace, you want peace, pursue it. But have it in your mind that you need to sacrifice something for the peace to win. Please, sir. As we continue to pray for all souls, Elenita Espirito Taganas, Joseph Wynne, Paul Wynne, Peter Lang Wynne, Mary Bidu, Theodore Eden and Jacqueline, and all those who requested for our prayers, we ask Almighty God to give them the spirit of peace, the spirit of healing, the spirit of freedom, and the spirit of happiness. And we who have gathered here this morning, may God continue to bless you all, protect you, guide you, and lead you to the place of peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for we have the we have received the bread, we offer you fruit of the earth, and walk up to my hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the land, and the work of human tenants, and to be done for us the spiritual prayer. Blessed be God that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the gifts by which we serve you may be worthy of this sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your heart. Your heart to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord and God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just. I do tell us salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy. To your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the grace. Feeling your will and getting for you, holy people, his precious out his sons, as they learn his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Father of all holiness, make holy therefore all these things we pray by sending thy like spirit upon them like the people, so that they may become for us the glory and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered with an increased passion, he to bread giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Thank you, Mr. Lord, we are eaten, for well, this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in Eastern Lower one of our Bible spent there to the Chalice and World Flow giving thanksgiving to his disciples saying, Take this blood. We are great from for this is the chalice of our blood, the blood of the man that we have covered, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of you. The mystery of the Savior. Savior of the world, the Lord of the cross and resurrection, who has set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ you may be into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread right the world and break out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our book, Oscar, Bishop, and all the place. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, for the fundamental life of your faith. Have mercy on us all we pray. Now, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, as far as with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have been throughout the day, we may marry to the glory and send in our lives, and may praise and glorify you in the Son of Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command of God by divine teaching without to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. Nobody help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all these things. So as we can wish the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take the Lamb of God, we take the Lamb of God, we take the sins of the world. We the Lamb of God, we take the Lamb of God, we take the Lamb of God, the Lamb of
Bless the Lord from my soul, and all within me is holy name. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to your lasting charity, we may be a fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. Almighty God, continue to bless your Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to Lord and to serve. Thank you, God. Have a very nice day. Thank you, God.